I'm but a poor little woman. Damn it. Killer must still be here. Jaws, man like, except for long fangs. Killed with a single blow. Busted ribs, blood from the ears. Took a solid hit. Massacred by a vampire. Not an Ekimara, though. Or a Flutter. Bruxa. Gotta be. Woman from the inn was wearing this coat. In the cellar. Gotta be. Claw wounds from five separate claws spread of a small human hand. Rivermuck carried the body in his cart. Attacker had no trouble knocking over the cart. Footprints. Small bare feet lead deeper into the cellar. Fell down the stairs, broke his neck. Hurled against the wall with great force. Used this to batter down the grate. You saw you at the inn. I know what you are. I don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. We don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave. Uh, stinks. 
Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch, bulging with coins. Elf Guardian Florins, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing? Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, pouch shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess.